Pixel ice cream. Yum. I mean, where did you get that? From the back of the shop. The back of the shop? You know you're not supposed to go there. Mom catches you. Relax. Nobody wants this. What do you mean? No box. This is expired. Oh my god. Mark, do you know what expired means? I don't want to go. It means the ice cream has gone bad. There's no such thing as bad ice cream. All ice cream is good ice cream. You're going to get sick. Please. That will never happen. Oh, I feel so sick. You are lucky that you only got diarrhea. And a bit of fever. Mandy! Why didn't you tell your brother not to eat the bad ice cream? What? I told him already, but he was already eating it! Mandy, you're his elder sister. You're supposed to be looking after him. Yes, you're supposed to look after me. Fine, okay? Tomorrow at the Minimart, you won't leave my sight. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean? He has to stay in bed. Yes, I have to stay in bed. But he's my partner. We take turns to look after the shop. Mandy, running a business is like that. Sometimes if your partner is sick, then you have to run the business on your own. But... But what? You're not giving up now, are you? No, I'm not giving up. Good. Good. That's the last bottle. Great. Now I can take a break. Take a break? What about your shop? Mm, what about my shop? Who's going to take care of it? It's supposed to be Mark's turn. Yes, but Mark is not feeling well. But I want to watch TV. The Super Duper Freaky Dicky Sonic Tonic Fantastic Show is on. The Super... What? The Super Duper Freaky Dicky Sonic Tonic Fantastic Show. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Any discount? Two dollars. How about one dollar? Do you want to buy? If not, please go away. That's not very polite. Do you want to buy it or not? If not, go away. Hey Cindy! Hey Mandy! Where's Mark? Mark is sick. I have to look after the shop myself. That sucks. That sucks. A lot. This is nice. How much? Three dollars. Hmm. Hey Cindy. Hmm? What are you doing now? Now? Talking to you. <laughs> I, I mean, later. Are you busy? Not really. My mom wants to go shopping. Do you want to help me look after the shop? Can I do that? Yes. My mother said that I can hire anyone if I can't cope. So, how much are you paying? Two dollars. Four dollars. Two fifty. Three dollars. Fine. It's a deal. Deal. <laughs> Better. So you can come back and help me? Oh no, I still have a stomach ache. Are you just pretending to be sick so you can get out of work? That's a good question. Well, I'll answer that. If I answer this, what has teeth but cannot bite? Give up. 
Show off. Me too. Do you like my handphone? What happened to the old one? I gave it to my aunt. My mom bought this for me. I'm looking for an earring to go with the shoes. Hmm. How about this one? Cool. How much? One dollar. But for you, I'll give special price. Because I'm your special friend, right? Of course. And because you're helping me mind the shop. That would be two fifty. Whatever happened to a special friend? Two fifty is a special price. I charged you three dollars last time. Remember? Hmm. One dollar for minding the shop, and the earrings are for free. One fifty for minding the shop, and the earrings for free. One twenty and earring for free. Deal. 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 Go. So? So I sold three rings. So? So I should have seven, but I only have five. Where's the other two? One, two, three, four, five. I have a question. What? Where are the other two rings? What? That's what I just said. So where are they? They must be in the room somewhere. I don't think so. Go look for them. Is this like buried treasure? What? We can pretend to be pirates and look for treasure. Yo ho ho! Just go look for them. Oh. You're no fun. There, found it. What? Where? Ten cents. It's mine. You're supposed to be looking for the rings. Oh yeah. Okay. Can we help? Yeah, sure. Help me look for my missing rings. Give me your handphone. You're crazy! 
If you don't return the rings, I'll drop it. I dare you. Mandy, what were you thinking? I was thinking she stole my stuff! Mandy, you can't go around accusing people without any proof. But my rings were missing! Mandy, are you sure she took your rings? Who else then? Are you sure? Well... A hundred percent sure? 99.99 That's not good enough. But who else would have taken my stuff? Mandy, you need to make sure of things before you go around accusing people. Now just go and say sorry to Cindy, okay? Mm -hmm. No! Mandy! No! Mandy! Mandy! Are you still mad at Cindy? Yes, I am mad! I'm so mad! I want to do something bad to her! Can you please don't be like that? You look scary when you're like that. I can't help it! Maybe she didn't do it? How do you know? Were you there? Um. You were there? Promise me you won't be mad. <sighs> okay. You never promise. I promise. Cross your heart and hope to die. Cross my heart and hope to die. May the big jelly monster eat your head if you lie. May the big jelly monster eat my head if I lie. Okay. That day. I was playing Captain Markley, Super Fighter Pilot. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang! When the enemy hurt me. Bang, bang! Ha-ha! The <laughs> 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 enemy attack, but I was ready. Mark? Yes, Ma? Are you feeling better? Not really. Because if you are feeling better, you should go and help your sister. I'm not feeling better. Okay. Gotcha! But too bad. And me and Bush, I was caught. Then what happened? Then mom sent me to the minimart to help you out. Hey, Cindy. Oh, hey. You can go now. But I thought you were sick. I was, but now I'm not wasted. Well, I can't go. Mandy paid me to look after the shop. You can have a short tea break. Just come back before Mandy does. Well, okay. Thanks. See you. You took over, Cindy? Only for a short while. And you promised not to be mad. Okay. So, did you see anyone? Well... Well what? Did you or did you not? If I tell you, promise me you won't be mad. Okay, I promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Cross my heart and hope to die. The big jelly monster eat my head if I lie. I will eat your head if you lie. Okay. I took over Cindy, but then... <sighs> you were sleeping? How can you sleep so fast? I guess it's my talent. And you promised not to be mad. I told the truth so you can eat my head. So someone could have just slipped in and taken the rings. I guess. Hey, Sally, Simon, where are you? Hello. Don't do that. Never mind. So maybe Cindy didn't steal the rings. We told you. 
Wait, you know who stole them? Simon was feeling itchy. Huh? What has that got to do with the rings? Well, uh, uh, Simon had an itch on his back. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. So he sang like a frog. Then what? Then we saw Mark and this boy. do now. Okay, you called me to meet you here. So, what is it? I'm sorry. What did you say? I said I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry for calling you a thief. But why didn't you tell me Mark took over for a while? Well, I guess I was so angry that you called me a thief that I forgot. Anyway, I'm really sorry. And, and for dropping your handful. I know it can't be replaced, but I got this for you.
Remember, children, you can never put a price on good friendship. And remember, saving is fun!